We're in the middle of launching Polybar in January 2018. And I have a, this question that's a very good one on uh, the forum of archmerchforum.com. It's a recurring question, so uh, I'm gonna make a, a little video about it and it's going to go on archmerch.com with the fixes because this is really an easy fix if you know, of course, how. So at this point in time, the following occurs. Um, let me maybe first show you my screen keys. So I am now on Archmerge i3. I'm having this polybar on the top and um, well, you'll see me pressing buttons. So we have here Control Alt T. Let's first do a change here. I see my keys are showing up on screen one. So I'm going to say to screen two, otherwise you don't see them like so. So there, uh, we want to install Slimpack. The question on the Arch Merge forum is, hey, I cannot install Slimpack. So let's try this. Um, well, the first thing you probably do is sudo pacman. Let's do it all the way. sudo pacman minus s slim jets. I think that was the name. And then it says target not found means it's coming from the AUR, meaning you probably do slim chat then. And indeed, it's from the AUR. You press zero, you enter, proceed. Yes, install this one. Don't want to see the package build. And there it goes. We have this download that's wrong. Well, the download is successful, um, but the validity, the checking if it is a valid download that's something else so the validating source with nd5 sums let's do it again and let's go into detail proceed yes and now this time we're gonna edit it yes so in any package build there are a lot of information and variables and the intention of um, well this this line here these lines are the ones that are causing the errors is because it wants to validate is the original download successful was there an addition of well um, uh, spyware adware i don't know is is it still the correct file from the engineer and that's this md5 sum it's going to check that is the original one megabyte download and that's the checksum and if you get something more something else then the checksum will not uh, function will not be the same and we will know that's not original anymore but you know how it goes you put something online and you forget to update this or you um, have a reference that's uh, that's wrong here package name package version the reference to the file is wrong and so on so a lot of things can go wrong if you're an uh, package built maintainer so if you say okay this is coming from a website slimjet.com and so on i trust these guys i've worked with it and you check the code and see if anything wrong is in here then you say okay um, i might try something else there is a solution to your problem so if it's Slimjet is just an example. It can be any of the AOR packages out there. Two ways. You tell them to give you some more information because you're gonna forget. Packer help. And in here we have this skip integrity. So when using make package, do not check MD5. And that was our problem, the MD5. It's gonna wants to check the valid validity of the files with the MD5 sums. So that's the first solution. That's one we can do. That's actually typing packer slimjet skip in tech is gonna work. So this is gonna work. Another thing, if you're not into packer, but it's a little bit more, well, not complicated, but it's different. We have also yaourt. And if we scroll, all the way down we need to type something more 
Here it is. Pass additional options to make package. To pass more than one option, put them in quotes. So the M arc. Okay. Meaning we can do the following. Ooh. Okay. And then M arc. Ooh, yeah. And then we can say, for instance, we want to skip the checksums. And of course, the package. This will work as well. So, two possibilities to go and to, to solve this issue for validity checks. Let's try this one. It's a fast, smart, and powerful browser based on Blink. All right. We want number one downloading edit package will no no need to continue building yes and now everything should be installing so let's cross our fingers and see what happens Okay, what is this line? Skipping verification of source file checksums. That's what we just did with this code behind there. And skipping tech with Packer. That's what we do. We skip altogether uh, to check if it's original files, correct file. So you better be sure of the source. And uh, then it's just waiting and it's going to be installed in a few minutes. Okay, continue installing SlimJet. Yes, please. And then we're gonna type in a password. And install it. We don't know what I've installed. First time I see SlimJet. And that's okay. That's because we don't have AOR vote. That's an application to um, of when you type something like this right you see there are 22 votes behind it that's the, the number 22 so if you want to vote yourself you need to install AOR vote package and then run this thing and then you can vote as well that's just okay so so you know all right so we've installed uh, slim jets so like I said what is it super shift D I'm curious to see, well, that's something else. And maybe I should just do it like right here. Slimjet not found. Slimjet, yep, no problem. Let's see if we can figure it out what we just installed here. Let's get rid of this. So already an update coming in. Slimjet files so here you see what actually is installed and where it is installed it's an opt clearly a lot of things in opt a lot of things indeed uh, the application itself is called flash peak slimjet user bin that's where your applications are flash peak slimjet is the thing so flash Jim Slimjet is not coming up anywhere, but it is installed nevertheless. Not sure what this thing is. User share applications. And here's this Flash Peak Slimjet application. Double clicking should normally launch it, but I don't see anything happening. So I'm not really know what this thing is. But here it is, it's installed anyways. All right, enjoy.